Are you trying to find models? Well, today we are going to talk about some tips on how to use Thingiverse.com. See you guys inside. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said in that brief little intro, we are taking a look at Thingiverse.com today and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use this site because the site's quirky in some ways and sometimes it's hard to find models that you're actually looking for because there's really no naming system because it's what people upload it as and also like recently I've had a downloading issue and I'm going to show you how to get around that today as well so we're going to talk about navigation we're going to talk about some tips basically some cheaty ways to use the website and it kind of just understand how to use the site and we'll hop up to the computer and we'll get up there and we'll get the site up here and I'll show you guys how to do that all of that but before I do that, before we hop up there, if you're new to the channel and you like the content you see today, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you head out and join the crew. Leave comments, questions, anything on there, or if you know a tip or trick about Thingiverse that I didn't know, throw it down there in the comments. I appreciate it. Or if you have any questions about 3D printing or finding models, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. This video is not sponsored by Thingiverse or anything else. This is me and how I use it. So if you know a way that's better than mine, definitely let me know because... I love finding better ways to do things too. But some of the stuff I'm going to show you today, like the download all button for me, doesn't work. I can't download and download all the files at once from a, a model, but there's a trick to that. And I'm going to show you how to do that up on the computer. So let's hop up there and let's get that going. All right, guys. So we're here at the computer with Thingiverse. And we're staying on this site today. We're going to talk about some of the cool features that you can do on this site and some functionality that maybe you don't know. So Thingiverse as a website is awesome. I love the website. Their app is okay on their iPhone at least. I don't know about the Android app because I don't have an Android device, but it's one of those things. This site can be a great way to find models or parts of models to get started with your 3D printing. Because um, my philosophy is someone's probably done it. You don't need to reinvent the wheel unless it is something completely custom you are making. So with that said, one of the key things that I recommend about Thingiverse, item one, create an account. Why create an account? Well, creating an account lets you get some functionality that you won't have. And mainly liking a file, liking a model and my collections are two of the biggest things that I use to keep track of what I like, models I really just like to print or that I wanna keep track of, um, and I can do it in here. And also, if you create a file and upload to Thingiverse, you'll have be able to track that in your designs. So that and also it allows you to communicate with other Thingiverse members. So whether it's someone that's created a model and you have a collection or, or a question, or you want to try to get a hold of one of their STLs or object files so you can make a change to it and kind of build upon something and check, make something cool. So it's kind of one of those things. It's definitely a awesome tool. Create the account. You can, um, you can sign in with Google. Um, there's several other ways you can sign into this. So I'm signed in with my secondary personal account right now, um, not my business account. So... First thing I'm going to do is we're going to touch on likes. So what does likes do? Well, one, it tells the creator of the file that you love their file, which is awesome. And also the more likes, the more promoted that file becomes. So it's really simple on this little potted one that Megan liked, I'm going to hit the like button. But what does that do? So in your profile, there's a my likes. Everything that you like will go, will show up here. So it's loading up my pro, loading up the file here. We've got 13 likes, and it's all stuff that we have liked. Um, some baskets Megan wanted me to try to print, and different things like that. And there's the guy we just liked. So pretty awesome. Helps us kind of keep track of it. But what if I'm on a big kick and I want to make sure I'm looking for files that I want to make that are gifts or something like that that I'm keeping track of keeping track of. Well, for example, Charlie Brown. A lot of my family members love Charlie Brown. If I want to keep track of it in a collection, I can hit the plus here. And you can see I have a couple collections, but I'm going to choose create a new collection. And I'm going to choose GIF. I'm going to just name it GIFs. And I'm going to save that collection. And now I can add things more to that collection of items, 
which is really cool. Helps you keep track of what's going on, and you can do that within the app on your phone. So really cool, I can be sitting in the car, riding along on my app, and oh, I like that file, and throw it in a collection or give it a like so that I can find it over here later. Um, so that way people don't have to throw things at me, which is a really cool thing and really kind of important and helps you keep your functionality and also find models that you love. So really cool thing and a really nice feature of the website. The likes, not only putting it in the my likes, but also being able to organize and create a collection. Um, so definitely some, a perk of having an account over here and the account's free. You don't have to pay a membership or anything, which is really important to say about this. So we've got my collections, my likes. I don't have anything in my designs. If I had uploaded something and published it out here, it'd be in my design. So um, definitely a thing like that. If you get into a group of creators, um, you can get into the, my groups that you track um, and you can even message other creators on here, which is really cool. Um, and something that's really kind of great other than just leaving a comment is if some on Windows had to tell me something, uh, if you have someone that has, you know, you're really interested in their file, but you'd love to see them beef it up in certain ways, or if a career has a file out there, it's just broken, you can get a hold of them and tell them, hey, here's how you fix this. Um, here's how I fix it. Let's go. Let's go. So um, really kind of cool things. And also, you know, it does have the standard for files. They have each individual file that you can download individually, which is great. Um, now downloading there's been a problem with it lately. That download all button doesn't work. Pretty frustrating, right? You're gonna have to go download every single one of those one by one, or do you? So there is a trick. So up here in the address bar where it says slash files right now, take out files and type in zip. Now what that's gonna do, if this file has a zip compressed folder, of all the items sitting on their server, it's gonna download that zip folder for me or it's gonna give me the 404 file not found page, which admittedly happens more than what I would like. So, but this is a really cool thing right now because a lot of files that I go after are like 30 or 40 files and I can't download, I don't wanna sit there and download them one by one and I wind up missing a piece and then I don't get the download. So that slash zip, if it has a compressed zip folder on their server, will download everything in that zip folder, which is, oh, has been a lifesaver lately since I found this problem. Because when that download all button stopped working, was quite annoying. I'm gonna fully admit. So, um, kind of keep that in mind. Sometimes it may sit and spin for a little bit before it will actually do it. Um, and actually, you guys can't see that, but down down here where my, hang on, let's see if I can scoot. We're gonna scoot me over. You can see down here in my downloads bar, it's downloaded a zip file. So now I have all the files that I would have possibly had to have downloaded one by one, fully downloaded. I can go decompress the file and I am ready to rock and roll. So win-win. So there's a great tip about it. Um, there are some files that that doesn't happen. So what have we covered so far? Let's kind of recap a little bit. Create the account. Likes. Collections. Downloading. So one of the other things that I want to talk about, and actually I kind of already talked about, is you can download the files one by one. You can show your makes by going to the makes of that file. Now some of these files, let's find one. Ah, let's go here. This will probably have it. 96 remixes. So what is this? So this is where a file, maybe from this collection, has been altered. And with those alterations, maybe made better. And the maker of the file put it out here on Thingiverse for you to get. Like, actually, I've never seen the Obena class, except for in Star Trek uh, um, Lower Decks. Now I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to. I thought it was really cool. It's, and be, keep in mind, if it's a work in progress, it'll state it up here. So keep that in mind. And there are three thing files, which I can't get to because it may not be available yet. 
So remixes is really cool. You can go look at other people's makes, which is really cool. Uh, for example, this one's had 51 makes on this file. This one's a really popular file, and people will show their prints, which is really cool. So it is a great way to see how others have done it at the same time of going out on the website. So everything I've just kind of thrown out, I know it's a lot of information, really fast smacking you in the face, but there are a lot of perks to this website. And one of the things that I want you to keep in mind too, not only can you share these, you can remix it, you can copy the link and get it out there, but one of the other things that is important is respecting the creator. And by respecting the creator, I'm trying to find a, is this, the license. So keep in mind what you're doing with the licensing under the Creative Commons, what you can and cannot do. Um, you know, if it's out here and it's this file that you're using and you're trying to sell it, you may not be doing the right thing. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, a lot of my prints don't go anywhere. They're mine. So, uh, but I do enjoy showing you guys how to get the prints and make them. So, um, kind of one of those things, make sure you're obeying the creator's wishes. So they created the file, make sure you're using it the way they intended. So a little bit of legalese right there, kind of boring stuff, but it is what it is. We all have to do it. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this content. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you let me know. I'm actually kind of curious now. I see an enterprise refit. Ooh, I may have to go find that one. Uh, but, you know, like this one, okay, the, it finally cleared up. There's three files. I'm actually going to download that. That one's going to go down on my printer. So I'm going to take that word files out, and I'm going to type in zip and get this guy hopefully downloaded. Um, otherwise, we'd get the nice spacey screen if the zip file did, didn't actually exist, and uh, you just have to hit the back button and hit download the files all by itself, um, which kind of sucks. But all in all, Thingiverse is a great place to go. It's one that I really love working on, finding files and actually doing collaboration with other creators. So definitely one of those things to keep in mind. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, leave the comments down below. I'm really liking this Obana class. Uh, be prepared to see that on the table in the streams, guys. And if you guys don't realize, every Tuesday night at 7.15, I try to stream uh, for a couple hours. So come on and join us. And, uh, yeah, let's kick over and close this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was at least educational and helpful on you finding models on the site. And also just kind of showing you, if you're brand new to 3D printing, showing you the site. So it is a really good site. I find a lot of models on there. I find some models that are not great, but that's not Thingiverse's fault. So um, keep in mind, you get, need to obey the licensing rules that are on the page so make sure you're doing that and not taking a model off there that that is uh not uh sellable so make sure you do obey that and make sure you're doing what you need to do to make sure if you need to reach out to the creator and get permission and stuff like that make sure you're doing all that kind of stuff because it is important to do that so keep that in mind and if you enjoyed the content make sure you subscribe to the channel stick with us as we do all kinds of things because there's all kinds of other sites out there and apps that we can take a look at like cults 3d my mini factory all kinds of stuff so if you have questions about those sites definitely let me know down in the comments that you want me to do a similar tour of those sites so thank you guys we'll see you in the next video